Why are we seeing a trend of center backs starting build up during goal kicks? Well, let me explain. If the goalkeeper takes the goal kick and plays the first pass into one of the center backs, it becomes much easier for the opposition to force play one side. As we can see here, the forward will curve his run, force the center back one side, and the opposite forward will look to log onto the pivot play. And we end up with a build up scenario where there is no overload created, no space to step into, and it makes it much more difficult to progress play through the, the third. However, if one of the center backs takes the goal kick and places their initial pass into the goalkeeper, we now create a problem for the pressing team. In that, should they press the ball carrier? In this case, the goalkeeper will end up getting a free player elsewhere. Two examples of this are, if one of the forwards presses the goalkeeper, the ball carrier, and the other forward decide to sit on the pivot player, there is an opportunity to play into the left center back who can then go and step into the space. And the second example shows the sitting forward getting a little bit closer to the left center back and we actually find a little bit of space for the pivot player who we can use as a bounced option for the goalkeeper to play direct into and then out to the right center back who is now the free player we have created an overload we have created space to go and step into and build up becomes much easier that's for today don't forget to leave a like on your way out see you in the next video bye